our new puppy Blue has thankfully had a bit of a change. Before, when we would put a harness on him, he would completely shut down, freeze up, and not be able to even take a step. He was so freaked out and bothered by it. But thankfully, as we continued to put the harness on him, go for walks with him, take him to the beach with this on, things changed. He became more used to it and eventually didn't even bother him at all. And it got me thinking, me as a creator, I can get into the same kind of feeling as Blue did. Completely shut down, frozen, and even afraid to create. And I feel like this is something that not only happens to me, but happens to you. And while I don't necessarily know the reasons why it could be happening to you, I wanted to share some of the reasons that it was happening to me and some of the ways that I've been able to overcome that as well. So with everything that's been going on the last couple months, I think it's more than understandable that we can just get shut down, not only as creators, but just as people. The world is drastically different than it was a couple months ago, and I think this can mess with just how we function in everyday life, and that can cause us as creators to have or get into a bit of a rut as well. And the second reason that I've found myself falling into this shutdown mode or rut is because of comparison. I feel like on social media we're constantly inundated with other people's lives which seem to be bigger and better than ours are. And even me, who's living in this amazing place here in Hawaii, it's paradise, but I still fall into it as well. I still see other creators that are doing bigger and better things and are living in places which I would love to go and adventure in and check out. And so this plague of comparison can just eat me from the inside out and makes me seem like what I'm thinking of creating or what I've already created isn't good enough or doesn't stack up to what the internet will deem watchable, shareable, or won't be good at all. And I shut down completely and don't want to create anything at all. And so I found three ways for me that have really helped out. And so the first one is just literally force myself to get out and shoot something. It might not even be something that's worth shooting or something that is going to end up on YouTube or on Instagram, but it's just getting out there and forcing myself to create. And the majority of the time, as soon as I get outside, as soon as I go and plan something to go shoot, force myself out there, the creative juices do start flowing again. Just like with Blue, how we forced him to get into his harness and get outside and just kind of deal with wearing this harness. He eventually was totally fine with it. Can't say that he loved it, but it didn't bother him anymore. And so now he enjoys taking walks, running outside, going to the beach just as much with the harness as without, for the most part. <laughs> And so for me, just forcing myself to get out there and shoot is one way that has helped me in the past to get those creative juices flowing. Another way that Blue was able to cope with this harness is being outside with his big brother, Bear. Blue absolutely loves Bear. He always wants to hang out with him. Probably a little bit too much and pesters him all the time. But he just loves being with Bear and playing with him and running with him. And so having Bear be outside with the harness on and running around just gets Bear out of that mindset of, oh no, I've got this harness on to, I just want to go and chase after Bear. And so the second way that has really helped me is getting myself around other creatives. If I can find a group of people or just one other person that loves photography or filmmaking and we're able to get out and create, together we just spur each other on to be creative, to tell stories, and to make something meaningful. And lastly, the third and final little trick that I do is instead of watching people on YouTube or checking out Instagram profiles that are within my niche, I go way outside my niche. Looking at cooking shows or wood carving, just something that is completely different from what I do, 
and seeing the creative ways that they're able to tell their stories, that doesn't send me down that comparison spiral where I'm just looking at what they've got and what I don't have. Seeing something completely outside of my niche really just gets me excited to create again because it has nothing to do with me and I'm not comparing. I think comparison is one of the biggest ways that can really kill creativity and drive within myself. And so I just wanna stay away from that as much as possible. Hopefully some of these ways that have helped me are able to help you out as well. Let me know in the comments if this actually was helpful or if there's things that you've done that have really helped you kind of get those creative juices flowing. I would love to hear from you. Make sure as always to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help and make a difference. And I'll see you on the next video. What do I say? What do I say?